Welcome back. If you've had a child, you'll remember that when they're a newborn, they get tested for PKU. It's not a fun test, and the baby usually absolutely hates it, and you're always a little anxious about those results. Well, how has the disease progressed recently? What do you need to know? Well, I spoke with a physician about PKU and also a young mother who was diagnosed with PKU and has learned to live with this disease. Let's find out more. There are about 16,500 people in the United States living with a rare genetic disease called PKU. PKU manifests at birth and is marked by an inability to break down C, an amino acid that is commonly found in many foods. If left untreated, high levels of fee become toxic to the brain and may lead to serious neurological and neurophysiological issues, including brain damage, seizures, and depression. Joining us is Hunter, a 35-year-old mother of two who herself was diagnosed with PKU when she was a newborn, and Dr. Barbara Burton, director of the PKU clinic at Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. Thank you both of you for being here today. Thank you for having us. Yes, happy to be here. Dr. Burton, let's start with you. Tell me exactly what PKU is. Well, PKU, or phenylketonuria, as you mentioned, is a rare genetic disorder that can impact the brain and therefore requires lifelong management. Left untreated, high levels of the amino acid phenylalanine, or phi, accumulate in the blood and in the brain and are toxic to the brain and can cause a whole host of different intellectual and psychological symptoms. Management of PKU begins shortly after birth and continues throughout life. The objective of treatment is to maintain the blood phi level within the recommended safe range. Dr. Burton, how exactly is PKU diagnosed? Well, fortunately, given the uh, potential severity of PKU and its impact on the brain, all newborns in the United States are now routinely tested for this condition through the newborn heel prick test done on all babies. Many countries outside the U.S. also screen their infants for PKU. Through this testing, about 350 babies across the U.S. are diagnosed each year with PKU. Hunter, tell us about your experience growing up with PKU and how you're managing it today. Absolutely. So I was diagnosed through newborn screen, like Dr. Burton was speaking about. And um, because it's a genetic condition, everybody's PKU looks a little different and their body can handle different amounts of protein and phenylalanine. So I got the lucky card of a very strict diet, only taking about three grams of protein per day that my body could handle. So I had to avoid all high protein foods, meat, fish, dairy, eggs, nut, cheese, wheat products even. And to put it into context, I could have the amount of protein that's in about a half of a large potato every day. So I had to eat a very low protein diet um, and drink a medical formula to get my nutrition that way. Thankfully, as a young adult, I was able to uh, join a clinical trial for a treatment that's now approved that worked really well for me and my PKU, and I'm still on that today and can eat pretty much anything I want, so it's come a long way. That has come a very long way. Hunter, what advice would you give to someone struggling to manage their PKU? Sure. So the first thing I want to say is that just to validate that PKU can be a struggle, it can be very difficult, but being on the right treatment um, and having a medical team that's helping navigate that, your metabolic team or your clinic, is really crucial and the first step to you know being successful with PKU. But then also don't be afraid to talk to your friends and family about it. They can be uh, accountability for you and also just a support on the rough days. And then finding the treatment, yes, but also foods and restaurants and things that um, are safe and that you like and enjoy in your safety net, that's really important as well. Doctor, what is the primary message you'd like our audience to know about the condition and for those struggling with it? 
Well, the main message I'd like to give to anyone listening who perhaps has PKU or has a friend or family member with PKU is that it's really important for all patients to remain connected with a PKU clinic. Even if you've been off treatment for many years, please reconnect because we have many treatment options now. We're not just limited to that very strict diet you heard about from Hunter. Also, if you would like more information, you can go to the website pku.com, which is brought to you by BioMarin, who we're partnered with today. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Burton and Hunter, for joining us today. Really appreciate this important information about PKU. I know it'll help those that struggle with it. So thank you for your time. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much.